Echo here, welcome back to Feed the Beast Monster. We're on a new version, I'm on version 1.0.3 and there's some big changes, the biggest of which... Uh, is that a little baby villager? No, that one is there though, look. That's not the biggest change at all, but... Look <laughs> at that guy. Love them guys. The same Merry Christmas at me as well, and the uh, damage indicators. A uh, couple of the big changes. One is Bud Magic's been added. Yay! One of my favourite mods. Blood Magic's in, so Wait Times mod is in here. Unfortunately for me, because I'm playing with no regen, it's going to be quite a while till I can get into this. But get into this, I certainly shall, because um, as I just said, it is one of my favourite mods. Now, get myself a regen ritual. It's going to take ages without regen. Uh, so I can't really get into that yet because the old premise of that mod is yeah, I could go straight for a dagger of sacrifice. And start sacrificing other things, and not do any self-sacrifice at all. That's an op that's a that's a possibility. Um, so blood magic's been added. Wonderful. A couple of other additions as well. Um, what's going on there? Is that one trying to get over the fence away from that one? A <laughs> um, couple of other things. Open blocks have been taken out. I moved a few things around there. I had two open blocks lava tanks up there full of lava, so uh, I should have really put them into there before I updated. Because uh, I, I saw that open box would be removed. My little thing has gone from there as well. My, what was it? A uh, jaded trapdoor. Well, it helps you climb up a bit easier. And something else that will be gone. Which is the only th other thing I can think of open blocks that I'd made. Was I had a little rope ladder down there into the water. So I'll just make that into a normal ladder. Uh, the price of wood, I'm going to have to chase that at the minute. So... Yeah, um, did a few things after the last episode. Now, one of them was, uh, that water source, by the way. That's just my infinite water source. It's just like kind of out the way there, built into the floor. Um, one of them is I built a couple of hoppers. One to put things into the smeltery, one to take things out. And now you might not have seen it like this before, but because we've got these wonderful little creatures in here, yeah, what's that doing there? I've lost my pick then. We've got these wonderful little creatures in here called hopper ducts. Check them out. So the hopper ducts fastens to the hopper, and you can just like pipes for hoppers that you can send it so the items come upwards rather than down, which is really nice. Get out of there, you. Come on, fool. That like baby one I was just said who oh, I liked, and I'm gonna get real angry at the same one now he's growing up. Come on, you're all real cute as babies, and then you just get in the way when you're adults. So. Uh, I made a couple of Java barrels. So I've got 64 and 64. I've changed the config in Thermal Expansion. So let's have a look at Machine Frame. It should be steel. It was pretty much overwhelming the comments. Oops. Should be that. I should make it the harder version. So this should be steel. Oh. Ah, I've updated again. I'll do that again. Um. I've got allow steel and require. I thought I'd change that. I thought I did so it requires steel. So I need to change that again. But these machine frames will require steel. Now the MFR, you can set that to Greg, Greg Tech recipes as well. But I just left it on the thermal expansion ones. Because I believe the thermal expansion ones are quite balanced for MFR. I think the normal ones are too cheap. I think the Greg Tech ones are silly. Because by the time you want any of these, with the Greg Tech recipes, it's just far too. It moves them too far along, I think. So I've kept them as the family expansion ones, but I have made it. And so they actually all need a machine frame with family expansion. So they'll all need steel when I change my config back again uh, after this episode. So there there we go. Uh, I've spread the village out a bit more. What have I done? Um, while I was uploading the other day, I actually I raised this, this and this up one. God, these villagers breeding like flies. Um, flies, rabbits flies that's not a saying i've got this ready for the next thing on our to-do list i've got 24 levels and i want to enchant something now what i'm going to do is i could i could very easily not do downcraft in this because i've done a lot of farmcraft lately and as much as i love farmcraft it's one of the prettiest looking mods to keep doing the research keep doing the infusion crafting stuff like that does get a little bit uh, 
when you're running multiple servers, right, multiple versions, it does get a little bit tedious, let's say. Um, so I don't want to do a great deal, but what I am going to do is I'm going to make farm me karma. I made a research farmium last time, didn't I? For the um, tool rods. So I am going to actually make farmium armor because really if you look at how you make farmium it's one iron ingot in there because greg doubles up my iron ingot use by making it require plates i'd rather run over here get some nether wart make some thalmium and make thalmium armor and then when i enchant that i've also of course got the chance of getting repair on there so i don't have to keep making armor because you go for armor, especially if you're like in hollow hills and stuff, you go for armor really quick, especially iron armor. Um, the second thing that I like about the Thalmium armor is it gives you um, the same enchant ability as gold does, but the same durability, I think, as uh, possibly iron, possibly more durability than iron, possibly diamond, but certainly it's more enchantable than than down and then iron so i'm going to use this because it's got of course precantatio i am going to chuck a lot of hair into the atmosphere though so that's a bit bad really if i could be bothered i'd do um distillation first so i can separate this off into vials but i ain't gonna bother i'm just gonna get myself 24 thalmy ingots so i can make some armor so i'm gonna do that off camera because that's pretty boring basically what i'm gonna be doing is i, I because of this little setup by the way because i had i went down to the bottom of a bucket and two open blocks tanks they held 16 buckets each so i had like 32 books of library so i was able to change all my ores into ingots and i'm going to be taking 24 of these 24 so we need for a full set of armor and i'm going to need more leather what because i need four for each one so I'm going to, I'll do the first one on camera just to show you what I'm doing, just so you know what I'm about. I'm going to need a bucket, I've got, I'm going to need a water source nearer to here at some point. Um, so I can use farming tools and stuff, I might use ones later on. Right, I'm hoping, my plan is to use redstone flux, uh, redstone arsenal. I plan, I want to use an invite battle wrench as my main wrench and my, my main weapon. So, um, yeah, so all we do with this is, Throw a nether wart in there, chase it with an iron ingot, so you get farming ingot. But as you see, it's leaving herbe in there. So I will have to deal with that herbe at some point. But I'll cut camera, I'll be back when I've got 24 of them because it's a bit boring to watch me throwing things in there. And I'll make myself some thalmium armor and I'll be a little bit uh, a little bit tougher. I also need to make sure the update hasn't made, put me onto easy mode or anything. Uh, I'm, I'm certainly not reading it, am I? So I don't think it has, but I'll just double check my config there, make sure nothing's, my server properties haven't changed, because I know my config's changed. I don't seem to region, so I think that's alright, but I will double check that. Back in a bit. Okay, I'm back, and I had to wait around a bit for some nether wart to grow, I think, I don't even know it's grown yet. Um, in all the excitement of the new version, I forgot to mention a couple of things that I did yesterday. So, was it yesterday, day before? Probably the day before. I... Went into the Twilight Forest because well, I had made, I'd made my Millennium Pick, and if you look in here, you can see I've started progressing through this large hill. Now, the version seems to be loading a lot quicker as well, so I'm guessing it might have been something on the something to do with a pack that was making it a little bit slower there. But as you can see, I've started spreading that way. I brought a lot of stone bricks. These are actually half slabs, so nothing can spawn on these. So um, as I progress through this hollow hill up in the depths, up in the heights, depths. Up in the heights here, I've been getting, I was just targeting lapis at first, so I was able to get Fortune 3, 450 lapis onto my pick there, and I've started putting lapis onto my rapier for for, for looting 3, but I've um, not even got looting 1 on there yet, so I ain't got a great deal on it. But that's what I've been doing, working my way through here, and now because I've got Fortune 3 on that, I took them emeralds, and I can grab things like 8 redstone from one redstone block, so, I mean, this is, I, I always kind of start, uh, well, this way, these days, Tinker's Construct, then look for a hollow hill, and then get the Tinker's Construct tools and tool and sword up to scratch 
with its um, full amount of look on and then start mining things that are that can be fortuned or then start killing mobs it's like if I was killing Enderman for um, if I was looking for killing Enderman for enderpearls I'd probably wait until I got looting three you know what I mean? makes sense doesn't it? because you get more chance of enderpearls but diamonds cut out ten diamonds from three so really worth doing and of course there's all kind of other good stuff in here that doesn't require luck but there we go and have them as well so up to 11 so only got one from that one see but all good all good i can never remember if uh Cetus quartz is fortune i think it is isn't it looks like it doesn't it the fact i've got why are you no stack eh eh what's that about hmm different part number uh different id even part number right so let me grab, I didn't bring any slabs with me so I can't lay any fresh path down. Uh, get right on the edge there. <laughs> grab some lapis, I'm going to want some kind of collection um, item. As soon as I can really, I think magic bees in so probably the magic mysterious magnets in. But I'd rather go for the coin of fortune um, in this pack. Now I was going to go for coin of fortune in this pack because I didn't have blood magic and then um, I was going to use a blood magic signal of magnetism in Resonant Rise but uh, I'll see which one I like best and probably use the one I like best now also with luck I noticed I just went down into the depths down here to look for a bit of uh, Thumbcraft shards I thought no point in making the Thumbcraft helmet I might as well make goggles revealing and use them as my helmet so I needed to make two thermometers and I only had enough shards for one, so I went down looking for some entropy. And I got jumped by a skeleton, not three, not to what three hearts off me. So I've, I ate two of them apples I had earlier. Um, the reason why I was lo missing some health, by the way, is I went and and I silt ah, I put silt touch on the other pick as well. I went and silt touched one of them fire resistance geostrata gen things and put it in the nether, and uh, it, it set me on fire. So. <laughs> That was it. Um, as soon as I placed it in the nether, I set on fire. So it looks like if you place them in the nether, the fire resist ones, they actually set you on fire. So that was fun. So I lost a bit of health that way. And where do these want to be? They want to be in... They want to be in there. Now, so like, I'm up to 16 diamonds. So that's really good. That is really good. Now, one of, the, one of the pains at the minute is, because of Greg Tech, I can't actually make anything into blocks. I need a compressor. So I'm having to... There we go, we're, we're only at 49. Because I can't make blocks, I'm having to do it singles. Because, you know, Greg Tech, you need to make, you need a compressor to make any kind of block. So, I'm also adding redstone onto, there, is that right? Oh, I've used all my modifiers up, okay. I can't add any more on that, so that's got max redstone for now. I need um, a gold block and a diamond to add another modifier and then a, a nether star to add a, another modifier so um i can get a bit more on that eventually Boop. now i also just so you're aware i made some grout to ex extend the smeltery a bit and i put the grout through here and it actually only got me one two three five more seared bricks and i think i already had one got me like four i think i put 32 in there so i don't know if i lost some on the way somewhere it's i seem to so I'd be aware of that and then something else I want to do here now I've got so I've just got loads of these because this is fortuneable as well so you get a lot more of this I'll put the look on that later when uh, when I've cut cameras so you don't have to watch me put them at one at a time because that's really interesting and you can go in there I want that with me and um, the iron can go in there now it seems that the hopper duct has a small inventory as well so if there was no room for the iron ore, it would have gone from the hopper still. And there's, cause obviously there's, there's a hopper duct in between that hopper and that smeltery controller. So yeah, what do we do with these things? And these things, if you chuck them out. First you put nine into a regular. Then you put eight regulars around a weak one to make a strong. And then, that coal seeds. Then I think you make an even stronger one using them. You do. So... 
eight strong are on the other one gets you the extreme and the extreme four of them one seed and four diamonds makes you two diamond seeds so i'll probably work towards that just to see how quick the diamond seeds grow so what did i need i needed yeah let's go with eight of them and it was eight of them around one of them on it so I've got my first. <clears throat> Come on, not bad. My well, first one of them, of course, I need. Uh, I need a lot more to get the really strong one, but uh, I'm working towards it, which is what counts, I guess. So I'll work towards that. Um, right then, Netherwar, have you grown? Can I make myself some decent armor? Rather than, I'm glad this wood's been added because it's a nice little stop gap to get you started. But, it's not really doing me much good, is it? Now, I wonder what kind of permanent kind of region I could get. I could get it from bees. But I don't really want to do bees. Although there is a mod in this called... Jane... Gendistry, which is... Uh, an alternate to extra bees, which I might have a look at. So, industry is bee related. Um, there's no extra bees in this, but there is magic bees. I'm not sure how that really works. Let's get on with making new sense. So, look, I need an entropy shard to make a third thermometer. So, I've got a walking around thermometer, but I, I've got two. So, what I can do, ah, what I might not be able to do, is I might not have enough aspects for this anyway. I have not look, I need Earth and Ignis. So I need to go on a bit of hunt a bit of a hunt for some nodes. And I think I know where there is some in the Twilight Forest. I'm sure I marked a couple when I was running around. So I'll go do that. I'll get that wrist like nether wart. I'll get more of these men. I suppose I should make these what I've got up to now. I think I'm gonna enchant the goggles first. So I've got a chest plate. I've got legs. So I need four more for some boots. So I said they're better than iron and uh, more enchantable than gold, I believe. So yeah, I'll get that sorted and then I'll be back and we'll do the next one on the list, which is making an enchanting table. Bit of vanilla stuff. Ooh. Okay then, I went and found the nodes that I found earlier and I've got a full wand. Awesome. Now really, um, I could make some robes make this a bit cheaper but it'll be all right and that gets me goggles revealing wonderful and i'll set my one back with me you can fill this up by killing mobs as well of course but because i've got no region that's something i don't really want to do just much just yet there we go i've now got goggles revealing and a little bit of armor from them but not a great deal i don't think that's what i've got one two three four five and a half and it takes me to six okay only a half but um you do of course you are of course able to get protection on that if you're lucky so water in there we'll let that heat up again and get my last four of these farming ingots one bubble thanks so 16 of them four of them gets my last four and uh i'll craft them in there because i've got my inventory full as you can see of an enchanting table so there we go farming boots sweet and what I'm going to do is, because I've got a goggle, you can see what's in there now, 16, look at that, that's going to start breaking down. Um, I'll just leave that to break down, see what happens if it breaks down. Before, I, if you shift right click of a wand, it'll just knock that out with 10, and you can, if you've got some blocks, you can just squash it. Uh, as you can see, that herb is breaking down into the things that make herb. Uh, very, uh, very cool, let's now head across here then. Now, I was lucky with that second village that I found, the one that's on the north there because it had a library and it had a miscraft room so between them th that gave me enough books to get 15 bookshelves and now i can make an enchanting table sweet and i am going to go with the i am going to wait so i get 30 levels why would i do that at 29 what's wrong with me um let's quickly go and get to level 30 Nearly made a massive mistake then. <laughs> Let's run back in here. And quickly mine something that gives XP. 
I'm losing some of that. I'm not happy about it. So I'm pressing shift so I don't fall off the edge, by the way, if you was wondering. Oh, if she was frosty, if you was hoping. Um, should have brought some blocks with me, really, and I could have... Always making, doing things the hard way. And coal gets me a bit of XP, that'll do. Now I wonder if the Osmotic Enchanter's in. Osmotic Enchanter lets you pick your, um, your enchants, which is pretty useful. It doesn't take levels, it just takes stuff from your one, but I've heard it's getting disabled. It's one family tinkerer. I've heard it's getting disabled because um, of infusion enchanting. Which, infusion enchanting is alright, but it's a bit long-winded. When I say a bit, I mean quite quite a lot long-winded. <laughs> for example, you've got like, if you want protection for you've got to do the infusion enchant four times. It's not a lot of fun. Right, fair levels much better. Let's try again. So yeah, I'm going to go with the goggles first. Now at least if I die, I don't lose any levels. I might lose some nice gear, but I don't lose any levels anymore. Because, well, I'll, I'll do it if, I, if I'm not to 30, but you know. Eh, come on. That'll do. Um, protection form breaking. I can, I believe, repair them with gold. I think Sice told me that. In an anvil. So, unbreaking the last weight. Protection 4 adds a, gives me a bit more armor. So, I'm now in quite a lot better shape than I was. And I've also got the enchanting table done. So, what was next on the list? I'm going to need a cow pretty soon. Now, I've been looking at blood magic. I just checked on the forum. You, you need a tier 2 altar for the dagger of sacrifice. Blood magic, if you haven't played it before, basically you use this thing a sacrificial knife. And each right click of it takes a heart of health. And if you're doing it near an altar, the blood goes into the altar and adds to your LP network, your life point network. And tier one, you can have up to 5,000 in there. And then you can make an orb, weak blood orb. And then you can upgrade that by putting some of these ritual stones, no, runes, blood runes, these blood runes are on the altar, makes it a tier two. And once it's a tier two, you can make this thing called a dagger of sacrifice by putting an iron sword into your altar and feeding it blood. And then you can use that to kill other stuff. So you can use it to kill skeletons or cows or even villagers. But villagers, um, something bad happens apparently. I'm not, I've never tried it though. Uh, yeah, be aware. Bad stuff can happen if you kill villagers. Hello. Villager. What are you doing there? Right, so what we done? A chatting table. Done. Ka-ching. Um, we haven't done space or space fusion reactor yet. Uh, cow farm, sheep farm, cocoa from blast furnace. So, upgrade Tico tools, done that. We've probably got enough gold and diamonds actually to add an extra modifier into each of these. Now, I've not got any quartz on this yet because, of course, the pigman aggro. Now I'm at a decent enough armor level, I might be able to survive a bit against pigmen. And I might be able to pop the odd ghast and make a few arrows. Now, I never actually make Tinker's Construct bows. Although I maybe should. Uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to check in the never. See what kind of situation we've got with uh, this place. So, got no magma creams yet, have I? This isn't really safe enough yet, but it's a lot safer than it was. Hello, pigman. He looks angry. You angry pig man? No. That sounds very busy in there. I'd really like to kill a uh, magma, uh, get, get some magma cream before I actually go fight them knobheads. Now I had a way out of here. It's down there. Right, I'm going to go for a bit of adventure. I'm going to try not to die. But it's probably going to be a bit boring because, uh, I'm going to be taking it very carefully and try and get a bit of magma cream so I can make a fire resist potion or three. There's an infernal hive there by the way which had loads of quartz around it which I did take because there was no pigmen down here so I felt safe enough to get but it spawned little silverfish things. Let's see if it spawns one. Ooh, them little bastards. See it? Hmm. 
And you can hear the pigment got angry with me. I need to be careful when I go back now. Them little things die straight away. Oh, what the hell? What was that? What the hell? What the hell? What's that about? Let me out, for God's sake. <laughs> well, I have got no idea what's going on there. My armor took most of the damage in its strad. Is that... Are them bees explosive? Are the bees... Oops. Well, the bees, you don't normally get the effects of bee when they're still in the hive. Hmm. I'm having this quartz while I'm here. Screw it. Ooh. Don't want to fall in there, do I? Piss off you. Quartz is useful. Um, I've got plenty of apple. The size also told me, by the way, that I can also use the heads that I've been dropping when I die. I can make them into enchanted heads. Don't want to go down there, do I? Let's get out of here then. Little derpy adventure. Into the danger. And uh, lost four hearts out of that. And a bit of durability of my stuff, but... A stolen present from Steve Cats too. Interesting. Right, so this is where I came the day and got... What did I get? I, uh... Oh, I got a bit of cobalt that I made my manillion with. There's probably going to be pigment down here. There was before. So I need to be careful. There might be some good stuff around here. So I'll have a look about. And uh, I'm actually after a magma cube, aren't I? Oh. Oh, son of a bitch. He didn't mess about, did he? Well, my armor did nothing there, did it really? I shall come recover my gear. Ah, you got a death on camera. Hooray! Back in a bit. Oops. Oh, look where I've spawned. Where the hell am I? I'm on underneath spawn and it's night time. Ooh. Hello again, I'm back. I made it back safely. <laughs> got my uh, gear back safely. I took my bow. Oh, I took a damage bow and, a, and I made some more arrows. And that pigman died, he won it. And I just hung around there and there was no more aggro, so... That was a bit of a needless death, really. Right, I was starting to look at steel, and I thought, well, surely, rather than using a coke oven and a blast furnace from Railcraft, I should be using Greg Tech Bronze Age. So I started to have a look. Oh, you make Greg Tech Bronze Age steel. And uh, you can see you can use a blast furnace. Industrial blast furnace. Well, the blast furnace, does a, does a Greg Tech one? Bronze blast furnace? To get your face steel. So I started looking at that, and I thought, oh, bronze plate's lovely. So uh, that's quite interesting. And then I was having a look, and you may notice I made this thing. I forgot to mention this as well. Uh, I did quite a bit between the last episodes, didn't I? I made this thing, automatic dictionary converter. Because I had some different types of aluminium in here, and I was wondering if they'd convert into Greg Tech and back into the um, Tinker's one, if I wanted to make the little heart canisters, if I get some hearts. And they can, so our dictionary name, Inga Aluminium. And... I checked, check this out, steel ingot, our oh, dictionary names, ingot steel, tinkers, e-masher, rotary craft, ooh, uh, pig iron, rotary craft again, basic components, now this dictionary converter, that happens on, um, that happens on resonant rise as well, it get, if you get to basic components one it gets stuck, now I think, I thought they took basic components out, but, uh, I thought that got taken out, Anyway, what have we got here? Copper, steel dust, copper ingot, steel ingot, and a wrench. Oh, no, okay. I can I make the wrench? I can make the wrench, so we'll still be in. Uh, basic components, as far as I know, they're part of mechanism, um, part of universal electricity, which doesn't seem to be much else of in this pack, and that's just something that I'm clearly missing. Uh, we've got MFFS. I'm getting sidetracked, aren't I? 
Shut up, Paco. Carry on. Uh. <laughs> ah, mod. You. Uh, you've got MFFS. That's uh That's part of the universe literacy as well. So there is something, some, some stuff in there. Um, this is what Stace told me about. I realised. I think on this video to now, I've called I've, I've called Sice Sace and Sice. Oh, was that my last RR video? Um, I'll get you, I'll, I'll get it down and call you Sice all the time one day when I get used to it. It's all about these golden heads, so I think they act exactly the same as a golden apple. So I'm going to be eating my own my own head from my own corpses. Don't do that in real life. You uh, you won't get very far. So anyway, what I was trying to show you was we can use steel. We can. There's different types of steel here. Get away, you. And that's it. Come on. What did I do that before? I just need one. Oh, shit. There we go. Just need one. And um, I actually want this stuff. HLSA steel ingot, rotary craft. So I, I'll start looking to, looking into to make this stuff. I'm going to actually use some of this. And what we can make is. Now, Rotary Craft, there's a massive amount of stuff to it. And it's in the pack. Now, this doesn't mean I'm going to avoid Greg Tech. I might, I might avoid a bit of Bronze Age. I might make the Bronze Age stuff later on just for the sake of making it. But I like Greg Tech for its late game stuff more than its early game stuff. So, um, when there's in game options, so that, that means without me changing configs and stuff, I shall quite possibly be using other things than Greg Tech. But late game, I shall certainly be using some stuff. Now, some of this stuff though in rotary craft is really really powerful stuff there's this thing here called an extractor and if you look at the recipes of the extractor well that shows in there actually um like steel chunks of some kind well, i can't see it but i think it is in there somewhere Maybe you don't do it for steel. Let's try. Sorry about this. Let me try. Um, iron's a terrible choice. There's like a million things out of iron. Magical crops. I am getting all massively sad traps with all kind of stuff. This is the type of stuff I'm looking for. Pig iron flakes. There you go. Extractor. Check that out. So that's that's pig iron. We've got normal iron. No oh, scrap. So not flakes. Let's try flakes. There we go. That'll do us. All these different flakes. So let's look for something we know about. I mean, look at that. There's, there's sunstone camera right from that's um, from Ice Magic. That's not even in the pack as far as I know. Diamond door flakes. Check that out. Nine percent duplication chance per stage. Average 13 diamonds per ore in total. That can get. Do they get cooked? Iridium? What? That's iridium. Extractor. Iridium. What? What that's about. But, um, anyway, this extractor is very powerful. Let me look at something normal. I know, there we go. I know. You can get an average of 5 ingots. Per iron ore using this extractor, so that's very interesting. So what I need to do first is I need, if you look at rotary craft, everything is made up of steel, and to make the steel, I need a thing called a, a come on, a blast furnace. Funnily enough, stone bricks and a bit of redstone. How cheap that is! So let's grab some stone bricks and a single piece of redstone. And we're going to need some coal, and we're going to need some gunpowder, and we're going to need a bucket of lava, which I should have maybe got before I started. But there's a blast furnace, very cheap and easy to make. Let's uh, head down here. Wee! I should have put a book down here so I can get up and down quicker. Because uh, I'll just climb that ladder. A little bit time consuming when recording. Come on, get up. Man in music.
we go. Not played that for a while. I thought I might as well stick a bit of that on. So um, what I need to do is now I think a lot of this stuff can set fire to stuff around it. So because all my buildings are wooden, it's a little bit dangerous. Get out of the way, villager. I'm trying to put that bit of cotton away. He's stood in here. He's been stood in here for ages. Get the fucking way. Are you stuck? Um, so what I'm going to do for now is I'm going to pull up the floor in this house over here. Um, let's have this little house here. I don't mind if this little one bends down anyway. There's no one lives in it. And it's a death. This is dangerous. Can't go in there. Let me. Yeah, screw it. Let's put it over here. Um, yeah, this, this will all be non-flammable stuff one day, but at the minute it's all a bit danger, danger zone. So what I'm going to do is, I am going to cut down the here a little bit and try not to burn this house down. I'm going to go one block deeper there. Yeah, that'll do us. So I sort this out with some smooth stone. I probably make this actually into um my first area for rotary craft i guess then this little this kind of biggish house because the thing with rotary craft it looks like it's all very big on there and what space it uses up so what first thing i need to do is put a bucket of lava down and i place my blast furnace on top of the bucket of lava like so what that's going to start doing that's going to start warming up it's a very nice little tab here by the way if you click on that it tells you all about it blast furnace is the main way to make steel Apply carbon in the form of coal, the left, gunpowder at the bottom left, and fill any or all of the middle nine slots with iron ingots. So, coal, gunpowder. Now it uses coal a lot quicker than the gunpowder. Don't use gunpowder that quick, it has to get up to 600 degrees, it gets up to 625, because I tested this in single player. So that'll get up to 625, I should be back when I get to 625, and we'll make some steel in this. Back in a sec. Okay, I am back, and it's been a while, and nothing's bent down, so I guess that's good. Now, this is up to 6.25, as I said. I don't know if it uses the lava up. I'm not 100% sure on that. It certainly uses an amount of gunpowder and an amount of coal. So, I've been a while because I went mining in the hollow hill, and I got myself um, some iron. I was trying to spend some ingots. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw in a full stack of ingots. In fact, I'm going to throw in a full stack. And we'll come back to that in a minute. In the meantime, I'm going to start doing some of the other stuff for dark, uh, for dark craft, um, for rotary craft. The first thing I'm going to make is this book. Make it like so, paper, redstone, and an iron ingot. And this has got all sorts of stuff in. And these are actually, I've read all this while I was having my tea earlier. I went through every one of these and I had a little read about it all. What I'm going to be aiming for to start off with is gasoline engines. Um, thank you to Bevo, by the way, for the spotlight he did back in May of this year still it's um it's still 2013 where i am so uh, happy new year by the way this will be going out on new year's day happy new year everyone um yeah gasoline engine looks like the one i want to do and for that i need a thing called a fermenter and stuff like that but i need to get a bit of power to power the fermenter so i am going to make a little redstone engine just to start off with um so the the book is very useful if he's going to get into this mod i'd read it and i made my first tool my screwdriver and I'm also going to want one of these things at some point, but I ain't got no enderpearls yet. Called a angular transducer. Um, now, that's cooking away. What I'm going to do is I'm going to place a couple of work tables down. Over here. And we need to get some of that steel before I can do anything else, actually. So, check that out. I put in 64 steel in there. Look how much... Uh, 64 iron. Look how much I've got. I've got an extra 22. That's still got its temp. I've used one gunpowder and four coal. So, and look at that, it's changed into Greg Textile when I took it out. Weird. Now, does this actually count? That's the next thing, I guess. Does this actually make the things that it's meant to make? Hmm. I don't think it does. That should make me a shaft. So, what I'm going to have to do is, I'm going to have to bring that dictionary over here, I think. Why it turned into Greg Tech when I took it out of the thing, I'm not sure. But the other one did that earlier as well. So I need, I maybe need to do things in my inventory about shutting them. Let's make all this into that stuff. 
And uh, let's grab that steel as well. We can always make more. Let's see what happens here. Hmm. Why you do that steel? What's he doing that for? Is that a bug? Is that Greg messing with me? It's saying you're not allowed to have anything apart from Greg Textile. Can I run around with that in my hand? Okay. No, look, it's changed. So, does this one I can't even craft it? Nah, it can't do. Let's. Right, what's the first thing I need? In fact, let's run back over there then. So it looks like it, that's not having that. It looks like it's just changing back into Greg Textile. Even though I made it in the rotary craft thing. If this is an issue... Uh, well, no, I've done this on, on single player, so it can't be an issue. I made the bits. So... Why... You know make what I want you to make, eh? Yeah? Well, it's not having it. Right, I need mean, to cut camera to come back in a sec and uh, work out what's wrong with this. Be right back. Okay, then I'm back, and it was a Greg Tech thing. In the Greg Tech config, there is a thing called inventory unification equals true. I changed that to false. So that was unifying all the ingots to the Greg Tech variant, which is kind of nice if you was focusing on Greg Tech, I suppose. So I might actually change that back one day, but it was stopping me doing this. So what I can do now is I can make certain things in here. Like a cylinder. Uh, let's start with the simple ones. Let's go. The first thing, base panel. Base panel for quite a lot of things, as you might imagine. Let's uh, get on the right page here, because there's probably a few things I need to make here. Base panel. Well, maybe in. Base panel. So we'll have some of them so that the recipe gets remembered in here. So I'm going to be using this thing to remember the recipe, so I'd have to keep manually rem remembering them. The next I'm going to want shaft unit, so we'll have some of them, and then I want, I believe, cylinder, and then we're going to want wine spring, I think we want, we want some of them, so, um, I don't see anything that actually uses them just yet, but, what, so it was stack. Weird. Okay, that looks like they're not stack. And then, um, what do I need in the middle of there? Is this another one of these? Oh, it is, yeah. That gets me steel gears. So all these are going to get remembered. And then, is it one of them in the middle? Yep. It gets me an impeller. And if I remember correctly, I can go. Dit, dit, and dit. and that gets me two times gear unit um, I think that's a few good things to be going on with there so so you can make all the units on a normal work table or a normal craft I could have made them in my inventory crafting and um, there's one thing I'm gonna make as well I make uh, this thing check this out diamond shaft unit I'm gonna have you get eight of them for three diamonds and they're quite high level, so I might as well have a set of them. No? Oops. <laughs> um, there we go. So I'll have some of them. Um, I won't remember that for now, though. So, uh, yeah, the first thing you're going to have to make is to make any of your actual machines. So you can make normal things in there, but to make a machine, you actually need a special crafting bench for it called a work table. Same as what this forestry one's called. But it's a specific one for rotary craft and it's that guy there, work table so crafting table, bricks two ingots a bit of redstone, I need another bit of redstone I think for something else um, two ingots a crafting table was it? it was, there's a work table so all machines have to be crafted in this now what I'm going to make is a basic DC electric engine and then I'm actually going to wrap up the episode because it's getting a bit long. And I'm going to, I'll make a shaft for this. This is going to need a redstone signal, so I've got a lever. I think 
this needs two redstone it does so that's why i am one with redstone short you can see this uses a shaft unit some base panels and some steel ingots so which is why i made a shaft unit and some base panels to get us on the go is it like that and then of course i need one more redstone back when i've got that okay then i ran over there real quick oh. I thought I forgot to get one then. <laughs> and uh, there we go. So in the work table, you see I can craft a little DC electric engine. Now I'm going to put that just there. So you can see which way its power goes by the red thing there. So we need our screwdriver that can turn it around. And we're going to, just for now, we'll put the power that way. And this is going to need a lever, as I mentioned. So there we go. Nice little engine. Turn off. Why you not turn off? Oh, it's just slowing down. Oh, nice. Of course. So it did just stop instantly. It winds down. Of course it does. Um, so there's a little DC electric engine. What I wanted the thing for, the diamonds, is a diamond shaft. That needs a mount. A mount is like so. So if we've got any of them left, we have, let's make a mount. Should probably do this in here because we're probably going to use a lot of these as well. But uh, I'll do it in my inventory for now. I'll combine that with one of these diamond shafts. What was that done? Ah, that has to be the wet table as well. Okay. So a mount and a diamond shaft gets me... That guy, and we'll put this down, I'll have a green side and a red side. So look, so the green's the input and the red's the output. So I need my screwdriver again. Oh, look at that, make it go. Yeah. Make him go up and down, can you? Why did I do that? Interesting. So obviously that need power from the bottom anyway for that to work. There we go, green in, red out. So now if I turn that on, you'll see the shaft there drives the shaft there and it can power something that was here. Wonderful. So what I'm going to get together the next episode is a thing called a fermenter. And I'm not sure, 100% sure if this is going to be strong enough to power it. But that's basically like that. Screw it, let's do it. Uh, three. Needed four of them and one of them, didn't it? And four ingots. Yeah. Lovely. So, do, 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 get says, this guy fermenter. Now, let's turn this off. In fact, let's leave it on. It should be fine. And if we put that there, that should be starting to get a bit of power in. Might not. It's also got a specific temperature range this needs to be in, and it's biome specific. I think of something like normal, normal. I'm in an ocean. Normal, normal should be fine for what I want to do here. Um, nothing sure in there, is the. So it might not be enough. She is temperature sensitive. There we go. It's saying there. Look. Let's see with redstone. The target. Nah, no, don't need to know about that at the minute. Requires power. 1024 32 rads and that electric engine is not going to cut it I don't think DC electric so uh, does that not have a GUI doesn't does it so look at it here and then I shall leave it for now so you see 256 rads only 4 newton meters of torque what did that say required? Um, it didn't say what how much torque it requires. Four thousand twenty-four watts at thirty-two rads. So it's got enough rotational force. It's um, for thousand twenty-four kilowatts. Thousand twenty-four. So this should run. Okay. So for this, I need, what do I need? I need, come on, 
I need a remind me what I need. I need sugar. Come on. Make yeast plus sugar, dirt on the bottom. Sugar in the top, dirt in the bottom. It's three slots of sugar, dirt. The bucket of water. I think it is. Episode running long, so I'm really gonna crack on now. Um I'm trying to make this bit of yeast and then a bit of sludge. So for sludge we need some oak saplings. Um a bit of, bit of sugar. We should only need one bit of sugar, I think. We need a bit of dirt. Dirt. You're not dirt, you are. And back we go. And basically, what this little fermenter thing does is you can make it produce stuff called um, sludge that you can then cook into ethanol, which you can use in the gasoline engine. So, um. Bucket of water, no. Bucket of water, dirt, and use of sugar. Should turn this into yeast. No. Hmm. Back in a sec. Okay, I had to actually click on the thing with buckets of water. I needed four buckets worth in there. So there we go. And uh, I still don't think we've got enough power in there. So it looks like I am leaving it for next time. Yep, right. So we've made a start anyway. I made an engine, even though I don't think it's cutting it power wise. So I may have to look at a steam engine before we commit the gasoline because we need this to make the gasoline, of course. So that seems a tier two and slightly more complex. This is just basically a redstone engine. So um, as you'd expect, it doesn't do a great deal. Now I could make something that stores this energy that it's making. But um, I'll work that out later on, and we'll start with this in the next episode, and we'll try and get onto that gasoline engine, and we'll try and automate it a bit and get some uh, get some power from this. So, as always, thank you very much for watching. I hope it was enjoyable, and I hope I see you again. Cheers. Bye. Oops, I'm back. I was just looking at that, and I saw that in the back of the thing there, and um, I turned it around, and it did just need power in from the back, so it made that straight away. Oh, so now I can. Put that back in there, and I can change that for saplings. And it doesn't use the yeast up. What it will do is, oh, it does use the yeast up. Okay, so I need to make more than one yeast. So it looks like one yeast per two sludge, and then sludge can go in smeltery in a, in a furnace. I mean, then becomes ethanol crystal, and that's our power source for the gasoline engine. Great. Cheers. Bye.